Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Justin's Reads and on today's episode we are talking about a book by Tiani Nkuna and it's titled Traits of a Broken Past. Um, Tiani says this book is actually dedicated to those people that feel maybe life has been unfair to them and maybe you've been in relationship that hurts you or maybe probably you're fighting some um, sense of unworthiness or you're just that person that um, wants to boost your self-confidence more is one of those books that uh, make you sit down. He, uh, she calls it a reflection board where one conducts an introspection um, and makes sense of what they have been through in their life. So it's like sitting down and reflecting on the things that you've been through to make sense of it and develop yourself and become better and, and identify areas in your life that you can actually improve from that uh, introspection that you would have uh, done in your life. But to me, I took the book on a different perspective altogether. I think it's actually a little um, love Bible because um, it talks it goes deep to speak about uh, individuals and relationships. The things that people go through in relationships most um, uh, specifically beyond anything. Um, so she was trying to explain and uh, uh, make an every individual see that they are worth before they can go into any relationship. They, they um, themselves as an individual, you are worth you mean something. You are important, you know. So to avoid yourself being hurt in future relationships, in future encounters with other people, this is actually a book that can actually help you develop to become a better person, become that person that uh, is ready for a better and bigger and more happier and more joyful uh, relationship in the future. So she uh, first spoke about... Um, Confronting your fears in chapter one. He said, face, face, face your fears. We all have things in life that we might um, encounter that might bring fears in our lives. And she explained one of the most uh, um, interesting fears that people go through is the fear of embarrassment. And she calls this is uh, actually a form of pride. In, in, uh, uh, in fact, is you know, when people think about the fact that what are people going to say? People are embarrassed to make decisions that benefit them because they are constantly thinking, what will people think? If I leave this man, what will people think? If I leave this woman, what will people think? Because I've paraded this relationship, I've spoken about this relationship for so many times, you know? What will people uh, think? He said, be delivered from other people's opinions. Let not the opinions of people uh, uh, stop you from freeing yourself from the things that you need to be freed from. Stop letting other people's opinion keep you in relationship, in situations that are not good for you, that are not good for your future. That's what she's basically saying. Because of fear of an embarrassment, you're thinking, you're constantly thinking, what are people going to say? What are people going to think? He said, no, you don't need that in your life. Stop it. Sit down and say, no, I'm not going to be a prisoner of other people's opinions. And she said, um, some people, they actually fear being alone. She said, oh, I, they don't know what it means to be single or by themselves or blazing their own trails without the company of other people. He said, no, you have to be comfortable with being single. You have to be comfortable with being your own person. Then you can be an advantage to the, um, to the next person. And then there are people that are actually afraid because they, they've gone through a lot of things in the past. They've been hurt in relationship. Now they are afraid of trying to love again. They, they don't feel that it's worth to love again. He said, no, you don't have to be afraid. What you went through was an experience. You learn from that experience, then you love again. You try again. It doesn't mean that that was the end of the, the relationship life for you. If it didn't work, no, it's fine. Learn from what, what happened and move on. Try again. And some people, they have the fear of not being good enough. 
you know have you ever been in a relationship where you think maybe ah this person might be too good for me you don't think you don't feel that you are good enough for that person so you're constantly in a box you're constantly trying to prove your worth you're constantly trying to prove who you are no it's not necessary because she said uh, there's an unknown author that said at your absolute best you still won't be good enough for the wrong person at your worst you will still be worth it for the right person so if you're with the right person you don't have to prove yourself you don't really have to prove who you really are if you are with the right person so if you find yourself that you constantly have to be proving yourself to this person sit down and check you're probably in a wrong place you know and it said um there is another fear of not conforming it's, it's almost the same as that other fear of you're trying to to figure out okay what are people going to say if i don't conform to the things that are going on around me you know how are people going to react people are going to talk about me and 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 no you're not going to do much if you just want to conform to the uh, uh, standards of the of the people, to the standard of the, of the world. You are never going to be able to satisfy the world. No, you can't satisfy people. Learn to live your life. Be happy for be, to be unique, you know. Choose your own path and follow them. Don't think or feel about what are people going to say. No, run your own race, you know. Whether you do it, people are going to talk. Whether you don't, people are going to talk. Whether you get into that relationship, people are going to talk. Whether you don't, people are going to talk. So don't let all those things stop you from realizing your potential, of uh, being happy in a relationship or walking away from a relationship that is not saving you any good you know and he says um she says every now and then we get into situations in life that uh we never hoped for we never saw coming we didn't think this uh thing is going to happen and most of the time it leaves us with fear people are living on, on the edge this trace of a broken past so when you have been hurt when you think life has been unfair to you when you've been in situation that um broke you you'll find out that most of the time you'll be in that place where you you are living on the edge she said, she said no don't live on the edge don't be that person that uh you are afraid of tomorrow. You like you, your your mind is now full of fear. You're thinking about tomorrow so much that like you don't have time to enjoy the present moment, the place where you are right now. He said, "No, don't live on the edge." And he said, "There are some things that she said there are some things that happen happen as well. If you have been broken in the past, you constantly seek people's validation." You see. You request for validation from people before you can do anything, you know? He said, no. And you end up giving people too much influence in your life to the extent that you can't make your own decisions. No. The past, she's saying, all she is saying, uh, don't be anxious about tomorrow. And uh, what you have gone through as an individual should just be a lesson, you know? You may have failed, fine, it's part of the journey, you know. You try again, you do it again. Because you failed today doesn't mean it's the end of the world. No, you start again. If it's a relationship, you start again. If it's a company, you start again. Whatever it is that broke you, it's not the end, you know. You start again, you try again until you win at it, until you find your perfect fit, until you find your perfect match. Don't stop trying because you've been hurt. Don't stop trying because you, you, you've been treated unfair before. Don't stop trying because life has been unfair to you before. No. Everything that you went through, you had to go through. So look at the bigger picture. Ask yourself questions. Why did I have to go through these things? There are lessons to be picked. There are things that to be drawn out from each and every situation that you go through as an individual. So look at yourself. Sit down and have an introspection of the things that you've gone through and learn from that.
When you've learned from that, you develop a self-confidence, you become more bold about yourself, and never forget that you are important, you are vital, you don't need anybody from anywhere to validate who you are as an individual. So thank you so much for watching. See you again next time. Bye.